What up, Digital Slang? Welcome back. Today, a little different video. Today, we're gonna to talk about the NVIDIA RTX 3080. Now, this is straight out of the Alienware Aurora R12 gaming desktop. And I picked this up from Best Buy Open Box for $1,999. Better than just buying a 3080 outright. The scalpers out there are selling them for a minimum around $2,500. So it's crazy that I think I got a good deal on this graphics card when buying a whole computer. Insane. And not only did I buy one, I bought two of these. So we're going to get into it. I'm going to take this apart. We're going to fix the thermal throttling issues that I'm having right now. Now, I've been running this in this computer and you can see now if I turn it, it is open on the side because that's how I've had to run it just to help with the thermal throttling just a little bit. And with the case on, with the cover on, man, it would drop down to all the way to 79 mega hash. And with the case open and, you know, AC running in the house, I can get it up to about 92, 93. So we're going to fix that right now. These do, this is the Dell Geoforce RTX. These get very hot, especially right here. Underneath here is just metal on metal. Actually, is it there? Yeah. It gets metal on metal really hot, even hot to the touch right there. So we're going to fix these issues and I'll throw it on a mining rig frame and we should be able to get this on HiveOS running 99 mega hash. So let's get into it. We're going to jump in. I got some thermal paste. I got my one screwdriver that will take care of all of our needs here. Some new thermal pads, alcohol, prep pads, and I got a piece of paper. You know, I draw this out. This is the second time I'm doing this. So I drew this out and we know where to put each and every screw. So let's get into it. We're gonna start by taking all of these screws out on top. Make sure you take your time, guys. Each screw, you don't wanna lose any of these screws. And there is a bit of Loctite on these screws. You can see on the bottom here, a little bit of blue. Oh, let me get that in frame. Uh, maybe you can't. But there is Loctite on there, so, you know, might be a little tight. But they do come off pretty easy. This screwdriver is from my iFixit kit. You guys, I'm sure, have heard of those. And I'm already not going in the <laughs> horizontal or diagonal way that you should be going, but it's all good. It's all good. So again, once I throw this on a frame, I should be able to get this to about 99 mega hash. Power, man, power I've gotten down to about 230 watts. So we'll see if we can get that a little better as well. So once we have all these screws out, you can see we got the five screws up top and the four screws on the bottom. We can take this right off. And if you turn it over, you can see we do have these four pads right here. We are going to take off. These are just crappy junk, sticky as hell. You know, don't really need these on here. We're going to put better ones on here. And again, I got the two millimeter thermal pads for this specifically. So for now, we're just going to move this to the side, put it right here. Then we're going to take off, we got six more screws to take off, four here and two over on this side. And we also have to take off this bracket over here. So let's take off the bracket first. There are three screws right here on the bracket. And again, keep these separate guys. You don't want to lose these. You don't want to misplace these. Make sure everything goes back exactly the way you took it off. You guys know what I'm talking about. And again, Loctite on here as well. It's still not really an issue taking it off. It does come right off. Even with the Loctite on, it's not really an issue. And if you don't take this bracket off here, you're not going to be able to take this off. So just keep that in mind. You're going to have to take this off first to remove that. So we're going to put that to the side. Come back here. And again, now we got one, two, three, four, five, six screws here to take off. Now these screws are all gonna have springs on them, so make sure you do not misplace or lose these springs right here. You can see the spring on there. Now this is gonna come off, and you're gonna have these two plugs right here. 
be very careful. You can see that thermal paste there and thermal paste there. Now you're gonna wanna remove these two plugs here. So we'll take them off. I do, if you grab them right from the side with your nails, they'll come off pretty easy. So now what you wanna do, we're gonna replace all of these. We'll start with the thermal paste and we'll take our alcohol prep pad and we are going to remove this paste. And if you see here, there's also two barcode stickers. You want to take these off. No need for these stickers to be on there because this thing gets super hot. And the first time I did try and do this, you know, I put thermal pads here first and it did not work. The thermal pads that I put, and it didn't matter what size thermal pad for whatever reason, it's just too thick to have a thermal pad on these four sides here. And it actually did not, it just made the graphics card run super hot and extremely hot to the point where it would get damaged if you left it that way. And it wasn't mining either. It wouldn't, wouldn't allow for a good connection. So it didn't even mine. I need a little alcohol to get that adhesive from the sticker off. So now you're gonna take your thermal paste, you're gonna put it here, 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 and then over here, and that is going to fix most of your issues. And then we're gonna replace the thermal pads on these four pads here, put it back together, and we should be good to go. I need to go grab a microfiber cloth, I'll be right back. All right, we're gonna dry these down. Take our thermal paste. Now I did switch up the thermal paste. We are using the Corsair XTM50. Now you wanna hit all four sides up top here and then we'll spread it around, get it nice and even. Well, as even as we can. Now we can hook this back up. So we're gonna put these two connectors back where they belong. Very easy to put back, just take your time. They do snap right back into place. We can throw this back on top. Make sure your holes line up. These two holes will fall right into place. And you can actually go right ahead and put the screws back on. You're gonna have six screws, one, two, and then the four here. You can put them right back on. And all of these screws, all six of these screws are the screws with the springs on it. Now that that's put together, we can place the bracket back on as well. Last but not least, we are going to replace these four thermal pads on here, these junky thermal pads that are on here. We're gonna get rid of these, take these off. They can, or they should just peel right off not high quality at all. I'm actually gonna try and leave, eh, I'll cut them to size in a minute. So you're gonna need four new thermal pads. I do have some pre-cut ones here. Let's see if these fit at all. Actually, that kind of fits perfectly. This is from the first one. I had a couple extra. So I'm just gonna actually reuse these. They kind of fit perfectly, actually. I'll have to cut one of them just a little bit. I'm gonna cut this one down a hair. Cut that off. 
And I need one for up top here. I'm gonna cut that as well. And then one little tiny square for right here. Now the plastic coating on these are already removed. So you guys see there's no coating. There's no plastic on either side of these already because I did try and use these on something else, but I didn't need them. So if you're wondering why I'm not removing the plastic because there is no plastic on here. So new thermal pads on here, new thermal paste. We're gonna throw this back on, line up the holes. Screw these back in and we will take this over to the rig, throw it in, see what she is going to do on Hive OS. All right, we got all the screws in, we got the thermal paste on, we do have the new thermal pads on. We're gonna throw it on the rig and see what we can get out of this on Hive OS. Let's go. All right guys, the RTX 3080 straight out of the Alienware Aurora R12 gaming desktop. Trying to fix these thermal throttling issues we have here. So this is the rig. You can see there's one 3080 on here already. This will be the second one. And as I expand and get more in, I will do the same thing and get a whole rig of either 3080s or a mix of 3080s and 3070s or 3060 Ti's, whatever I can get my hands on in this crazy market. But you can see here over on Hive OS, the first one that I did this to is running at 99 mega hash and now the second one. So I'm very happy, very pleased with the results guys. And if I could do this, you guys can do this. You guys have a lot more experience in this than I do. I just wanted to share my well, my experience, well, lack of experience. I just wanted to share my thoughts, share what I did here to get this running more efficiently and to fix some of these problems that we're having with these 30 series cards. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that like button. A sub would be appreciated. That's it. I'll be back soon, guys. Peace.